What's up, everybody? It's your boy, El Fuzzo, back again with another hot sauce review and a comic book review. Um, today, we are going to be talking about Hellblazer City of Demons, written by Cy Spencer, and the artwork is done by Sean Gordon Murphy, who is one of my personal favorite artists. Man, I absolutely love this guy. Um, and today's sauce is Violent Hippie Toasted Coconut Ghost Chili Hot Sauce. I'm very interested to get into this stuff. And as it has been in the last couple videos, I am straight up opening the bottle, like on, you know, just straight up on the channel. Okay, let's do some ingredient readings. Uh, the ingredients in this are habanero and ghost chili peppers, sugar, coconut, paprika, garlic, onion, black pepper, vinegar, and salt. That's it. That's it in here. And this is made by a company called Tactic Calories. Uh, they're a seasoning company out of Webster, New York. Very cool bunch of guys, man. Um, I'm very excited to try this sauce. And as always with most hot sauces, they have the story on the side. Uh, Violent Hippie by Tactic Calories Seasoning Company provides a gnarly wall of flavor with a sweet start from fresh roasted coconut followed up with a radical heat from ghost pepper and habanero chilies. The aggressive 15 out of 10 heat rating will leave you tripping out while your tongue sizzles. Well, we're going to find out today, aren't we kids? I'm excited, man. And uh, again, uh, real quick, before I even get into anything, I just want you guys to know there's a lot of cool, a lot of cool channels and stuff associated with the Comic Book Fiend Club, as well as you know this one that you're watching. Um, we have uh, my boy CB, CB Strange has his own channel, and he does like unboxing videos for figures, and he, I mean he goes into super detail on these figures, and it's really really awesome. You have myself and my brother uh mr brando comics uh we do a podcast called two guys one moop you should check that out if you've never done that it's two dudes talking about shit and having a good time we have mr inked jedi who does uh, a talks with jay podcast and it's very very cool it's it's not exactly comic related it, i mean it gets that way sometimes but it's more life motivating and life talks and stuff like that man and it's really really cool and if you're ever having a bad day or something man listen to that shit dude it can uplift you it's good stuff uh my boy comics on edge has a channel where he does a mass like mass haul videos and he, he's always got the bangers man he's always got tons of cool shit and obviously the comic book fiend, show, fiend club channel itself has tons of content, statue unboxings, these hot sauce videos. Uh, they do the drunk cast every once in a great while, which is like four hours of debauchery, and it's just a good time. Um, so make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel, you like and subscribe to the Two Guys One Moop, CV Strange, Comics on Edge, Talks with Jay, and uh, uh, and the Comic Book Fiend Club channel itself. But with all that said, let's get to burning. Ooh. Ooh. That's got a heat. I can smell that. Ooh. Comes out good, too. Comes out very nicely. It's got one of those fun tops on it. So, it's going to take a second, guys. I think they put these on here so they don't have stupid idiots like me that are just like, I'm going to cover the whole thing on accident. I can stick it in my face. But... Make sure you get some of them coconut chunkies on there. Alrighty. So, as always, I'm going to take a bite. We are going to discuss Hellblazer, City of Demons. Here we go. Hope you guys are ready, because I know I am. Stuff smells really good. They were not kidding about the instant sweet. Ooh, yeah. There's a very good heat coming through as well. Very, matter of fact. 
This one got me a little bit. All right, so over to the book. Uh, Hellblazer, City of Demons. Amazing book. I really, really enjoyed reading it. Um, it's an offshoot DC Vertigo. I think it was out around the time that they were kind of flippy-flopping on stuff. But um, it basically is about uh, Mr. Constantine, John Constantine, figuring out if... Uh, what's going on in the city because he gets hit by a car and his soul leaves his body for a little bit and he's in the hospital and stuff like that and he gets worked on then he gets all fixed up and everything and he comes out of it of course as Constantine he ain't gonna die but then he starts noticing that crazy shit around the city starts happening I'm gonna take another bite real quick try to get this Well, it turns out, mm, this shit's good, real good. But um, it, as it turns out, his blood, if you've read a lot of Constantine before, you know that his blood is, is a special kind of blood because there's demon blood in his blood. So what apparently had happened were these two doctors decided to take some of his blood and start putting it in other patients with, you know, surgeries and everything like that. So people start going nuts. And it's up to John to figure out how he's going to solve all this shit. Great read. It's only... I read the trade, but I believe if you collect it in floppies or singles, um, it's five issues. It's a five-issue run. Very awesome, very cool. But I'm going to get back to the sauce real quick. This stuff is very, very good. Um, it, it's got a good kick to it. It's got a very good kick to it. Not super overbearing to me, but it's got a very nice kick. I'm going to go ahead and hit my ratings, uh, as usual, after I take another bite of this stuff. Because, yes, I'm a glutton for punishment. But, um... As for rating-wise with Violent Hippie, I really enjoy this stuff. Uh, Flavor-wise, I give this stuff... Man, it's, it's on the sweet scale. And I'm not a huge fan of sweet. But it's not like an overbearing sweet that I couldn't see going on. I could actually put this stuff on pizza. I could put this stuff, obviously, on chicken. I could probably... Honestly, God, I could see it going on a burger real well. Um, you know, it might actually fit pretty well on a salad, too. Oh, I'll try that. But, um, so flavor-wise with this stuff, I would say uh, a very solid 7-8. It's very, very sweet. It's very, very good. You can taste the coconut and everything like that. Uh, Heat-wise, to me, because, like I said, this is all me personally, man. Um, <laughs> 15 out of 10, that's a negative. No, it's it's not that hot to me. Um, but I'm different. Um... I would say this stuff for me hits around a three or a four for me. Um, I feel the tongue. I feel a little bit on the bottom lip here. Um, my nose isn't acting up or anything like that. My eyes obviously aren't watering. But yeah, I'd give it a solid three or four on heat. Very sweet, very good tasting. As for the book, I give uh, Hellblazer, City of Demons... Sean Gordon Murphy's art is top-notch always. I am a big fan of his art style. I, I very much so like it. And Cy Spencer told an amazing story. I really, really like the story itself. So I would give this a solid 8 out of 10 as far as, you know, the reading. I thank you guys so much, man. Uh, I know the world's getting crazy, and I know, you know, everything like that's going down. I hope everybody's staying safe. I hope everybody's, you know, doing their part. And, uh... Thank you so much for taking time with me to tune in and have fun with me while I try to burn my face off. So thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. Booyah!